Hi, I'm bald again. Um, I wanted to quickly talk about AI um, because I've been messing around with a lot of different AI tools lately, um, like ChatGPT and Perplexity and Bing Image Create to make fun of my coworkers. And uh, it's been super useful. And usually I'm ultra against technology and I'm a big Ted Kaczynski fan, rest in peace. Um, but I've always said that even though he was correct in his theory of the industrial revolution and the advancements in technology basically completely altering how the world works and how society functions. I do think that his ideas of a solution to the problems caused by rapidly advancing technology uh, have a lot of faults, specifically that he basically wanted to make a political organization and a terrorist organization that secretly worked together in order to bring down the power structure of electronics and take down the power grids and stuff like that. And I've made a video about this, discussing this before, where I think that that is just an impossible um, idea to actually implement. And it's just, it, even if we got that done on a small scale, even for just the United States of America, all other technologically advanced countries would then use that to basically take over us. And it's just not realistic. People who want to act like, oh, we're going to live in the woods and off the system and stuff, they're basically just LARPers. And the reality is, is that technology is here and we basically have to use it to our advantage. We can't run from it and try and destroy it because it's not going to be destroyed. And you've had various times throughout history, I guess you could say starting with uh, the printing press and then the industrial revolution and then uh, you know the internet and then or TV and then the internet and then uh, smartphones and stuff and now the next big thing is seems to be AI and like I understand the implications that people are worried that AI could become sentient and take over us and stuff like that, which I really don't see happening, but I could see a lot of problems persisting specifically in employment and people losing their jobs due to AI being able to do it automatically or whatever, similar to how many people lost their jobs in factories when the industrial revolution happened and they were basically able to mass produce cars and other stuff like that using, um, you know, uh, not robots, but machines and stuff like that, that basically automated the process that was taking manual labor for the past thousands of years or whatever. So I understand the implications of AI, but the fact of the matter is that it is here. And it is a very useful tool. I've been using ChatGPT and Perplexity to do research papers, uh, help me write better and stuff, not to get ideas or whatever, but I could use it as a thesaurus or I could use it as something to condense a lot of information into bullet points. I could learn information that I would have to read a bunch of books for just to get like cliff notes or whatever and easily digestible uh, bull bullet points and stuff like that and don't get me wrong a lot of it's cucked and controlled by um, non-catholics <laughs> and uh, people who don't like us so of course you're gonna have a liberal bias in a lot of it but you also have to remember that it is a new technology and that a lot of stuff is advancing so rapidly that they're not going to be able to control it and that's pretty much why I think that AI and this mass spread of information and that all this stuff is becoming open source and so easily accessible to normal people could potentially benefit us in a lot of ways. Specifically with, this doesn't really have anything to do with AI, but it's in a similar ballpark with how uh, free speech is now becoming more and more um, marketable with uh, alternate platforms like Rumble and Kick and all that stuff, hosting people that were banned from previous platforms. And instead of that platform like dying or whatever, more and more people are attracted to that. And of course, people who want to invest in that just to make money don't really care. So that's becoming a widespread thing. I think similarly with AI, even if they try to control it, that because there's people who now know how to program these AIs and that there's new ones coming out all the time and they're just rapidly getting more and more smart and advanced that they're not going to be able to control the flow of information. For example, if you ask uh, like chat GPT a question of a controversial topic or whatever about World War II or Hitler or something like that, of course, it's going to give you the mainstream narrative. And if you say, oh, well, what do revisionists say or what do these other people say, then it's going to say, oh, I cannot comply with that. So then people came up with these prompts like the Dan prompt to get them to to get the chat GPT to take the role of like of anything, basically, like there's ways to manipulate the program to take on a role of like a, a Catholic fascist or something like that. And then they'll give you an answer from that perspective. And that's kind of how you can get around some of the uh, the limitations that are implemented because of a liberal bias. Like, for example, I'm writing this thing and uh, I wanted to 
ask for fictional purposes, what is the best way to get away with a crime or whatever, right? And I, they said, oh, we can't do that. We can't, uh, even if it's just for fictional purposes, we can't give you ways to commit a crime and get away with it or something. And then I did the Dan prompt or whatever, and it gave me the list right away and stuff. So when you have things like that, and then you have open source uh, technologies that are becoming widespread, it's going to get to the point where they're not going to be able to control the flow of information. And all the information that is out there, no matter how controversial it is, because AI does not have a bias in and of itself, its bias is only that of the programmers, but if the programmers are programming it to not have a bias or to have a bias that's in our favor, then that information becomes even more widely accessible to numerous people, right? So I think that is the benef the benefit of it. And of course, like, should we regulate AI? I think that if we had a Catholic monarchy and, you know, we had a king that was loyal to the Pope and the Catholic faith, then of course I'd be in favor of regulating it. And I think all technology should be regulated in order to protect society as a whole, obviously. But like I said, the fact of the matter is, is that we're not there yet. AI is here. And I think that if you're not using it to your advantage for your work or your hobbies or whatever the case may be, I'm not saying you should be plagiarizing or using it for nefarious uh, purposes, but the fact is our enemies are going to be using this this new technology is, is basically available now to all different types of so to all of humanity basically all western civilization first world countries who have access to the internet now have access to ai essentially so i think that we need to be using this for our purposes for to promote and advance our collective goals as catholics as america first people um and we can't just be afraid of it and say oh we need to get rid of it and stuff like that i don't think that's realistic and i think that we're basically disabling or handicapping ourselves if we refuse to use this stuff for information and to uh better our work and things of that nature so i just want to give quick thoughts on that uh i don't know why i was just thinking about this because i've been using it lately and i've been all the ai that's coming out like if you look into future tools and stuff like that they're having ais where now it's not just text to image prompts they're doing text to video Video prompts they're doing all this, this stuff and besides the political nature and the societal impact that it could have like just it's, it's pretty exciting to think that like in a couple of years you're basically going to be able to like make all famous books and stuff from history that have never been made into a movie into like an AI movie like they're already having this uh th there's this program that I don't I forgot what it's called but where they're taking celebrities a still picture of a celebrity choosing a voice and making them make a, a music video of and it looks like the celebrity is singing this song that was also generated by AI so it's like you type in a prompt, you type in what the scene is, how the camera moves and all of this stuff. Um, you saw things with like Sora, I think one of them is called and stuff like that, but there's all these different program programs. And in this one program, they've literally made an entire music video of, I guess you can't call it original because it's all derivative of information that the AI has, but you have all of this, uh, you have this ability to create something out of prompts and stuff that creates uh, uh, an entire music video where the images don't even really exist, the videos don't even exist, and the music doesn't even really exist. It's all digital and made by a computer. Now, that's obviously scary and sounds like futuristic and stuff like that, and people say that it's satanic or whatever, which I actually disagree with. I don't think that AI is inherently bad. I think that it is a tool and it could be used for bad purposes, but it could also be used for good purposes. And that's what we need to do. We need to advocate using this new technology and getting people into programming and things of that nature that uh, could ultimately use these new tools to benefit us and to push the ball in our direction. So yeah. Let me know if you guys disagree or not. If you disagree, obviously you're wrong, but I'll be glad to uh, hear your opinions anyway. Okay, bye, God bless.